We'll start with Mike Singer. Hey, JaVale. Um, what was tonight like for you? Obviously, the emotions of, uh, you know, ring night must have been awesome, uh, but at the same time, having to lock in and focus on a game that, that obviously had a tough outcome. Um, I mean, it was definitely exciting. Uh, and it's always exciting playing the team uh, you used to play for. Um, so I was just, yeah, I was locked in from the jump, though. It didn't matter about the ring. I was locked in um, on the task at hand. Unfortunately, we didn't come out with the win. Ryan Blackburn. JaVale, they had you in for this game uh, instead of Paul, just to add some more rim protection and whatnot. Do you think that it went well in that respect? And and what did you like about the defense tonight? Uh, yeah, I definitely feel like it went well in that respect. Uh, I feel like uh, um, as a team, we, we, we let some uh, threes get away, some open threes in, in transition. Uh, and that's what really uh, on the defensive end uh, held us back. But other than that, I feel like we played some really good uh, half court defense. Brandon Cristal. Javel, Coach uh, Malone before the game talked about your leadership, especially when game to game, you're not sure how many minutes, or maybe he'll let you know ahead of time, but going to the gym on, on a given day, you may not know how much you're going to play or if at all. Uh, what do you, you credit that to? Just time spent in the league and knowing that that's your role on this team as much as blocking shots as leading these young guys? Uh, just being a professional, um, being a professional uh, basketball player that I've been, being a professional vet that I've been for a while now, and uh, knowing what, what comes with that. Um, coming into the situation, I didn't know my, what my – being traded, I didn't know what my role was going to be or how my minutes were going to be handed out. Um, but I definitely came in the mindset to be a leader and uh, to, to just try to uh, break off a little bit of my winning mindset off um, and championship mindset on this team, and hopefully uh, we, we make it to the top. Leonardo Torres. Javel, it's Leonardo Torres from Peru. Hope you're well. Javel, tonight the team only shot 25% of three point and only grabbed six offensive rebounds. Those were the keys to lose tonight. Are you asking me or telling me? Ask you. Uh, yeah, I, th I think, I don't know if those are the keys, but those are definitely some uh, key points to, to where uh, it's not like us to, 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 to not shoot better from the three and uh, definitely get a, a couple more rebounds. So that's definitely adding on to it. But as a whole, I feel like uh, uh, we, we, we played all right and played really well. Uh, some people got injured. Um, I just feel like it was one of those games that everybody was just a little off, but we were on at the same time. Mike Singer. Hey, JaVale, to follow up on, on the championship mindset that you're trying to impart on this team, do you, what do you say when a locker room has just been wrecked by injuries like this and yet you're trying to maintain hope? And, and is this an instance where you do say something? Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, next man up. Uh, it, it, it had on a championship team. It has to be that mentality. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's the the the, the superstar getting hurt or or just a, a bench player getting hurt. Everybody has to have that next man up mentality and be ready for their time. Uh, they got to do their work. Uh, when they're not playing, they have to do their work. Uh, practice days, off days, and, and stay in shape. Just uh, wait for their moment. Moment might not even ever come, but you got to be ready. Joel Rush. Hey, JaVale, uh, Coach Malone said a couple days ago that it would be good for the younger guys on the team to see you getting your ring. And on the broadcast, they showed you kind of showing it to Michael Porter. And uh, what did you say to him in that moment? And do you agree with Coach that that's kind of, kind of got some value for the young guys to see that? Um, yeah, it's definitely value seeing that, uh, just just knowing that it's possible. Uh, I feel like a lot, a lot a lot of people don't don't strive to do things just because they've never seen it. So the fact that you can see somebody uh, – from a neighborhood like you've been or playing the league just like you that 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 one is chip they you can look at it as okay I can do this too and uh gives a lot of people hope and uh I, what I said to Mike uh I didn't really say anything to Mike Mike was just really admiring the ring and uh congratulate me Esteban Abed Hi Javal from Cordoba Argentina uh, how special is this ring compared or to the previous to the previous ones yes uh i mean it's extremely special uh i feel like the difference between this one and the other two that i have with golden state is uh 
through the whole season, I was the starting center of an NBA championship team. Um, and I feel like that, that, that just that title, um, adds a little bit more value onto this ring. Um, the ring feels like it might be a pound or two heavier too. I don't, I don't know what it is, but they might've put some bigger diamonds in there or something. I don't know. But uh, yeah, it, I feel like this was definitely a special ring. Um, oh, and it was in a bubble, which is, which was a whole nother incident. It, was, it wasn't a, a normal ring. So we had some uh, trials and tribulations to go through to get this one. Brandon Crystal. Well, and then one more ring question. A lot of your teammates already got theirs at the beginning of the year. How nice was it to finally get your hands on it this late in the year when these guys have had them, obviously, for a few months? Um, it was definitely nice. Uh, they asked me. They, they gave me the option. They said, do you want uh, us to just send you the ring? Um, and I was like, no, nah, I, want, I, want, I want the ring when we got fans in the stands. And it, I guess uh, me getting traded and then us playing them this late in the year, Everything worked out for me to get it with the fans in the stands. I had some of my family in the stands, so it was definitely a, a blessing to be able to come back and get my ring in front of my family and friends. All right, we got time for one more. We're going to go back to Esteban Abed. Uh, Javier, uh, in your experience sorry, uh, as a defensive player, how do you describe the evolution from Aaron Gordon to be uh, to pass an uh, offensive player to um, to be a defensive player in the last uh, weeks on Denver. Um, what what is, I, don't, I don't get what the question is. Oh, oh, uh, I mean, I feel like everybody has a role and everybody has to excel in that role. Um, and Aaron is definitely excelling, in, in my opinion, um, at being a defensive threat. Uh, the balls haven't haven't been coming to him uh, as as often as they did in Orlando. Um, but I feel like he's going to get more and more used to being in that position and, and, and playing with the guys. I mean, he came with me at the half of the season. Um, I mean, I, th I feel like we had around 20 games now. I don't know, but he still he still has it. And, and the playoffs come around. You never know what could happen. So he definitely has to stay locked in, especially on the offensive end and just figure out uh, where his shots can come from. But he's 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 definitely locked in on the defensive end. All right, that'll do it. Thank you, JaVale. Thank you.